welcome back to my channel my name is Yulisa I am a loan signing agent slash notary public and in today's video I'm going to show you how I am marketing for this Halloween season I guess you can call it but I'm making like custom Halloween baskets so let's get right into it <music> So today I am building these Halloween baskets. I got most of it off Sam's Club and then I got those baskets from Walmart. They were like 99 cents each. And then I just add in a bunch of goodies. Um, I added some spiderweb to them. It was just a creative way for this season. I do plan on making some Thanksgiving theme ones and some Christmas theme baskets or something like that so definitely stay tuned for that but this is the Halloween ones and I thought mid-October was the perfect time to go ahead and deliver these these were such a hit I just delivered them this morning and everybody loved them it thought they thought it was such a cute gesture so and I mostly, well, actually, I only went to title companies that I've been before. So it was just following up and everybody loved it. I had such a great successful marketing day. I think so. Remember that we are not trying to buy anyone off. We're just trying to show gratitude for them taking the time to speak to us and showing gratitude for um, the work they've given us did deliver some to my clients and to my potential hopefully clients so again just following up um, what I did here was I basically added some just wrinkled craft paper at the bottom because these baskets are pretty huge and that would have been pretty expensive to fill up then after that I added some spider web I went ahead and I added some treats either brownies or cupcakes um, as you can see on the far end, I do have some Hershey's or Reese's brownies or cupcakes. And then I added Oreos. I had other brownies, a bunch of chocolates, and just like candy and some chips. I just added a little bit of everything. I mean, it's Halloween, so we love treats in Halloween time. And then aside from that, I went ahead and I added my business cards in the center. And I added two like flyer things one of them just had all my fees and the other one just it was it's a marketing approach that i'm trying it's just giving them reasons to as why they should be using me instead of they taking care of the signings so we'll see how that one works out but that's all that i added on there and then well obviously when i hand them them out i just thank them for their time first and foremost because you're busy hi guys it's thursday today happy thursday um i'm out here marketing again this week i did have several signings but i haven't been super busy so i've been just working on my marketing material i'm out here marketing i'm about to um walk into that office and drop off my goodies as you saw so i'm here to drop off my goodies it's just like a basket and it has um, obviously it has my business cards and then I plan on dropping off my like I have I printed out my fees in a like cardstock card and then just some more information on me they already have my resume I'm just following up so I don't need to drop off the resume when they already have my resume but yes we're gonna go ahead and do this this is an office that i've been trying to get business for but i don't i have not i don't have any luck i am hoping that this helps out this is gonna be like a series because i'm gonna start doing marketing right now for the holidays like seasonal so in october obviously i'm doing halloween next month i'm gonna do thanksgiving marketing i'm very excited for that one and then in early december i'm gonna start doing christmas new year so like just holidays marketing so stay tuned for all those videos i will start to post them a little sooner than now um yeah we're gonna go down there 
again they know me but just reintroduce myself remind them of my services and see if they have a minute i mean they've heard me i've been here four times already um but the last time i was here was like a month ago so i it's been a while so i'm definitely just going to check up on them the last time i was there they totally remembered me so yeah we're gonna see how it goes hopefully it goes great yeah, stay tuned for that i hope the audio is working if not i'm just gonna have to cut off so many pieces and i don't want to do that so i'm hurting my throat trying to scream here but i do have a very soft voice so i do need a mic but i just i've been going back and forth on which one and it's just been kind of like uh, but i think i'm decided on one and i'm ordering it already so please bear with me guys let's do this and see how it goes hi guys i just got out of the first office she definitely remembered me she's like hi girl and she's like i wish i had had the authority to start using you but i'm gonna and i and i was talking to the eo but i don't know i, I think she meant like with her branch manager she's like i'm definitely going to email my manager and see how we can start using you because i really would want to start using you so that is amazing i thank her i told her that i appreciate it i'm at the second office i'm going to a total of seven today so let's see how it goes it's just basically following up i've been to all these offices before several times so it's just following up and just thanking them for their time so yes let's go hi guys um it's still the same day it's just arizona is crazy this morning was 55 degrees and now it's like 70 something so i just changed from my sweater to just a blazer anyway so i've gone to several offices by now the one that i just went it, is, it was just the brightest idea. People always ask me, oh, what are your fees? And then they look for a post-it and they have to write it down. And it's already like an inconvenience for them. I need to clean my... <laughs> it's already an inconvenience for them. So um, I what I did is... So I kind of have my fees. And I do have a video on like um, my fees or like fees to charge. But I do have my fees to give them. And... I, I told her I was talking to her and I told her my fees were in there. She um, got them and I told her if we need to negotiate fees just in case. Sometimes you need to depending on lenders and all that. So she's like, no, your fees are totally reasonable. We could totally use you. Um, thank you for your information. So I'm very grateful for that. Like I said, it was a follow up. I've been here before. I feel way more confident now because let me tell you something let me tell you a story well not a story but let me tell you something so i was working with a realtor for like a couple weeks i think it was two weeks yeah i worked with him for two weeks and i saw how escrow officers were marketing to the realtors they do that too they have to go out there and market we got donuts we got goodies we got chocolates we got everything and I was like, wow, like I'm over here overthinking marketing to them when they have to market themselves too. And it's just, you know, lenders also have to market and it's just a circle of networking. You have to know people, market with people. I, and that just kind of boosts my confidence. I'm like, okay, they also too have to market. They know about this. So I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna market and I've just kind of like, I don't overthink it anymore I just go in there and I do it and I talk and that's it I get out of there don't overthink it and then one thing is sometimes when the person that you want to speak to is not available get emails get business cards and then email them let them know you stopped by let them know that you um, want to meet them personally and talk to them for a second whenever they have a chance but you know kind of explained everything in your email and obviously don't let them know that you're available full-time blah 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 all of that sometimes they're not available one of the escrow officers was not available but there was another escrow officer so it worked out but sometimes they're not available so you just have to get business cards email them let them know you stopped by all that stuff if the offices are locked try to call see if there's a phone number that you can call and maybe they can let you in or if they're all working from home again email 
email email email email i know that email is not the best form but when you're walking in and the door is closed email is your second option so i'm gonna head to a couple more i don't have that many left but we are doing this and i feel confident and i feel great so let's go I do have you for whenever I need you. I appreciate each and every one of you for being 